Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at ISC 2016 in Frankfurt, Germany, and today we're at the Intel booth with Mr. Barry Davis. How are you doing, sir? Hey, Rich. How are you? Oh, great, great. It's, it's we got one more day of show. Yeah. yeah. But uh, boy, I wanted to catch up with you guys because you had a big announcement this week, didn't you? That's right. This is a very big week for Intel. Um, this is the week that we announced the Intel Xeon 5 processor, formerly known as Knight's Landing. This is the first processor from Intel that's a bootable CPU um, uh, for an acceleration product. This is the first time that we've had integrated OmniPath fabric on our CPU. This is the first CPU that we've had with uh, integrated high bandwidth memory. All these taken together is going to give our, our product world-class leading performance. And all of the performance data that we showed here at the show is basically proving all that. We're, we're really excited. Okay, so I, I didn't catch up. What, what was the final count? What are you shipping as far as uh, number of cores on this device? What's the official number? You know, from a, from a speeds and feeds and a metrics perspective, yeah. uh, the Xeon 5 CPU is up to 72 cores. Uh, uh, that includes also our advanced AVX512 uh, vector unit. Uh, all told, we've got, we've got four threads per core. We've got, um, uh, we, we'll do, let's see, four 64-byte vector instructions per second, 64-bit, uh, excuse me, uh, instructions per second. What that means is, essentially, we're doing more than 2x the instructions per, uh, per core and more than 2x the vector instructions per clock than we've ever done before. Wow. Really exciting. Wow. Really exciting. Wow. So Barry, we talked about memory bandwidth and that, but what about the other performance bottlenecks that have been there? How does, how does this whole thing come together and, and take those on? Well, you know, like you said, so we, we think about three main bottlenecks in, in, in an HPC platform today. Number one, as you just mentioned, as we talked about, is, is, is memory, right? Uh, feeding the beast, I like to think about it, right? So we have the integrated high bandwidth memory, as well as the external 384 gigabytes of DDR4 for, for, uh, for um, uh, larger application codes. But, but there's a few more. Um, as I kind of said before, PCI Express, right? It is a limitation, it is a limitation. So the, the accelerator card model today uses uh, an attached uh, card plugged into a server, right? And, and it's the main CPU's job at that point to have to offload data, offload code to the accelerator. We don't have to worry about that. There's, there's no bottleneck. Everything happens right there on the host CPU. And that is a huge performance advantage for the, for, um, the Intel Xeon Phi architecture. Uh, and then the actually gets the other one is really uh, uh, scale out latency, right? Um, the the Xeon Phi architecture has the integrated OmniPath um, uh, fabric as we've mentioned before. That provides scalability that no GPU can can match today, right? Uh, integrated fabric, low latency. We can scale from one node to four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, up to tens of thousands of nodes, and that is not something that it, that uh, uh, an accelerator product, uh, GP GPU, can do today. I can't let you go without talking about OmniPath. You right, know, right, that's right. kind of your baby, isn't right. it? That's right. I actually started the OmniPath architecture. Okay, right. so, so where is that at in this picture? Um, uh, OmniPath architecture, uh, uh, first thing I want to say is um, our phenomenal performance in the top 500. We showed up, like I say, we showed up with a bullet, right? We showed yeah, up yeah. Um, at, with eight new entries, uh, which is world class, and actually, I'll, I will say this, actually beating Mellanox EDR in terms of new entries on the top 500. Uh, we have, um, in terms of uh, both ship and, and, and plan to ship for the rest of the year, uh, at this point, over 80,000 nodes, right? And we're actually showing up, and we believe, more than half of all the RFP, RFPs out there, requests for proposals. So, and we couldn't be happier in terms of OmniPath. Same kind of comment. Go to HPE, go to SGI, go to Dell, go to Cray, go to Lenovo. Everybody has OmniPath, right? And so that's another key aspect. We're now showing up in every leading OEM in the world, and that's one of the greatest things about OmniPath today, is that it's getting ready, it's shipping and, and, and scaling at this point. 